outside in a hot air balloon. Me. There's a new <laughs> balloon festival kicking off tonight at Connor Prairie. Yes, Randall is live there now. And Randall, this event, it's already getting some major attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. This thing is already sold out for tonight, but wow. never fear. We got a whole bunch more to talk about uh, this weekend. Andrew, thanks for having us. Oh, my pleasure to be here. It's a fun weekend at Connor Prairie as we inflate the brand new envelope for the 1859 balloon voyage, kick everything off with the Jupiter Flights Balloon Festival tonight, the whole weekend of flight themed activities at Connor Prairie. I'm glad you addressed it before I could. There's a, there's this uh, <laughs> huge situation behind us right now. Right. What can you tell us about this thing? This thing is unbelievable. So this really is a representation, Randall, of innovation at Connor Prairie and innovation in central Indiana. You know, this is only one of four inside the continental United States. There's a handful of these across the uh, planet, but only four here. So this right now is our third envelope. We're going to take all of our viewers 377 feet up in the air. You're going to see all the way downtown. You're going to see 25, 25 miles north, 25 miles south, 25 miles to the east, 25 miles to the west. Wherever you want to look, this balloon's going to take you. So we're really excited about this thing. It took a whole slew of volunteers until about 2 o'clock in the morning two nights ago to get this thing inflated and you can see we're still working on it um, wow wow what's it been like for your team to put together this huge project this whole thing oh i mean this is two and a half three years in the works for us right i mean we had to start the planning for this and think about who would be a community partner that would help us bring this whole experience to life and of course that's reynolds farm equipment and so we've been so fortunate to have them be a part of this to understand what it takes to bring a community asset like connor prairie to life it is this 1859 balloon voyage now that we've officially made those who are missing out very jealous, <laughs> what else is happening uh, after uh, balloons and everything is happening tonight? Yeah, that's right. So tonight's really about the glow. Tomorrow morning is about the race, okay. right? So weather permitting, we're going to have a hare and hound race that's open free to the public. So you've got one balloon that's going to take off and then you've got about 17 others that are going to chase it. Grounds open at 10 o'clock for the rest of the weekend. And you're going to find uh, museum theater performances going on, talking about the female aeronauts mm -hmm. and their role in history, right? when it came to this type of flight and aviation. You're going to find uh, RC drones all over the place. You're going to find the Connor Prairie that you love too, right? Step into the story here with Prairie Town with whatever experience it is that you want to make your own at Connor Prairie. What are you looking forward to the most? We got obviously the balloon glow again. Sorry, guys, sold out. Yeah. But <laughs> all the events that are happening, uh, what are you looking forward to the most? Well, I mean, listen, this is a place for community and connection. And so I'm most excited, to be honest, for families to be able to come out, to be able to join with one another after a year of really having to take a hard look at what it is that they were going to do to stay connected as a family. And Connor Prairie is proud to be a place where people can come together, they can create incredible memories with one another, and they can even, you know, think about what it is that they're going to do to live history each and every day. And that's what this balloon and that's what Connor Prairie is all about. Now, Andrew, we're also getting a, a little sneak peek later in the show at something else, kind of give them a little tease about what's next. Yeah, that's exactly right. So not only do we allow people to go up 377 feet in the air inside of this balloon here, but we've built an entirely new exhibit to showcase the history of flight, uh, the history of dirigibles, my new favorite word uh, that I've learned here at the museum, uh, and a way for people to interact with the technology behind the balloon, right? What it takes to get this thing to fly. Did you say dirigible? Was that the word? Dirigibles. I want y'all to say that three times fast right now. Dirigibles. Dirigibles, 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 dirigibles. What you got? There we go. I mean, we did it. Hey, can they you slowed ask it way down. They slowed, they, slowed, they, slowed it, they slowed it way down. Right. Because we, he gave us history and Say height, it? honey. We in there. Alexis needs to be in that, in that balloon at oh, some yeah. point. Oh, yeah. History yes. and height. Yes. History and height. We love it. Thank you all so much.